So this is an interesting time in U.S. and Canadian politics. The U.S. presidential primaries uh, are underway and the uh, Canadian federal election is also um, proceeding and the uh, candidates are campaigning, campaigning hard uh, to uh, try obviously to get the nomination and to ultimately win the election. Why I raise this is because immigration is front and center um, on both sides of the border. As you know, Donald Trump on the U.S. has um, sparked a fire uh, in terms of the immigration debate. And um, on the other side of the fence in Canada, um, national security is a major issue as well. Um, the Syrian refugee crisis is affecting both countries. People um, uh, are coming in and both uh, governments have pledged to admit thousands and thousands and thousands of Syrian refugees on humanitarian grounds. Well, you know, I'm not going to take a position uh, in this video as to who um, I think would be best from an immigration perspective, which candidate would be the best, because frankly, um, none of them have really articulated what I consider a rational approach to immigration. Now, I'm an immigration lawyer, and um, myself and my team, we help individuals immigrate to Kenya, United States, uh, navigating the complex reg regulations, um, which are becoming more and more complex and making it more and more difficult to cross borders. The clients we help range from business people, skilled workers, families who want to be reunited, and sometimes you know, we help refugees as well, who, for humanitarian reasons, want to come to Canada United States to make a life for themselves, who are fleeing persecution and terrible places where their rights aren't respected. Basically, my view is this. Yes, national security is paramount, especially uh, with all the terrorism uh, concerns. Um, it's valid. But both countries have been built and continue to be built on immigration. Immigrants typically are extremely motivated when they come. They want to work, they want to raise their families, they want to contribute culturally, economically, and socially. Yes, there's been individuals who have come and who have committed crimes, and it's a terrible thing. And there are laws that deal with that. Uh, I know about the issue of sanctuary cities, um, con definitely a, a concern. But citizens as well commit crimes. Um, it's not a situation where um, a disproportionate amount of immigrants do. That's not the case. In fact, a disproportionate amount of immigrants do their best um, to try to get jobs and to build a life for themselves because they know what it's like to live in, an opp in oppressive countries where their rights aren't respected, where they can't get ahead. So I'm just weighing in on the issue of immigration that I think that there's a lot of fear and a lot of, a lot of finger pointing where immigrants themselves are being blamed for the troubles we have. Um, as I said again, national security is a definitely a concern and definitely has, has to be addressed. But let's not have a um, over overblow it and paint everyone with the same brush. And remember that immigrants fuel our economy, fuel our culture. And um, we are not a closed society, we're an open society. And that's what makes us a free society. So don't know if you agree with everything I've said. Uh, that's okay. Click like if you like it. And feel free to comment as well and visit us at www.visaplace.com.